Hi Pisces, how are you? This is going to be a video if you're dealing with the Leo. So Pisces and Leo, what's going on with Pisces and Leo? Pisces and Leo. Three cards for Pisces, three cards for Leo. Pisces and Leo. As the strength card comes out, Pisces and Leo. The tower. Oh, oh, okay, the tower. So Pisces and Leo. Five of swords. Do you guys like a little battle right now? Huh. Okay, Pisces and Leo. Three cards for Pisces, three cards for Leo. Thank you, Spirit Angels and Guides. Lordy. Okay. So Pisces, right now, uh, bottom of the deck, the Nine of Swords, and I believe that's mutual energy between you and this Leo. Okay, so in your head, possibly feeling a little bit of anxiety. Okay, so Pisces, you have here the Magician Reverse. Um, so you feel like you can't manifest something with this Leo currently, okay? You feel like like i mean there's trickery here i mean you don't know if this leo has something like hiding you don't know if there's if you're just like you know having too much illusions i mean just just things aren't clear here okay um and you feel like you can't manifest however you know you, you really do want to plan and and make decisions okay um and 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 really um you know you're 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 really looking to move forward okay um because with the six of pentacles reversed, you know, the, the, you don't feel like you're receiving. I mean, you, you feel like there's, you, you know, you, there's some strings attached here, okay? You know, you, you, you're wanting to move forward from the situation, from any attachments that you might have here because, you know, you just don't feel like anything's manifesting and there's, um, you know, you're kind of trying to step away from this, like, power struggle domination, okay? From an unhealthy attachment or something of some sort. We're going to clarify so what the Leo has here is they have the devil. Um, so, you know, some some toxic um, energies, um, you know, some addictive, um, you know, behavior, maybe, you know, some codependency, um, you know, again, some dependence. Um, this could be materialism, okay? You know, so, so, you know, maybe a dependence to material things or... Um, you know, or just like these thoughts, these binding thoughts that are going through this Leo's mind, okay? With the Three of Cups here reversed, you know, there's there's isolation, okay? There could be a little bit of overindulgence. Um, there's definitely disappointment here, okay? Um, there is a lack of faith as well here with the Star reversed, you know? Um, insecurity. There's like discouragement, Okay? This, this Leo is, is a little discouraged. So let's clarify. It's so interesting how this card literally came over and fell on top of this. Okay, the star reversed again. So it fell on top of the Nine of Swords. So I'm feeling that, okay, Pisces, this, this Leo is now actually, I'm, I'm feeling more of this Nine of Swords from the Leo, okay? Because I feel like, Maybe you've been in this state of feeling like you can't manifest something with them for a little while. Okay, if, 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 if put it however the story fits. Okay, I'm reading the top Pisces and the bottom Leo, but Pisces, I'm just going to say that you have probably have been, you know, trying to manifest something with this Leo, you know, for quite some time, maybe a little bit. And, and you're just kind of like a little tired of the fact that they're not giving or like, you know, it's like they're not opening up or not, like, really reciprocating how you need them to. So, so you're really just ready to move forward if you have to, okay? I mean, there, there's something, you know, or you want to move forward with them, but, you know, something here is just unstable. However, I do feel more of a worry and, and energy from, from the Leo. And we're going to clarify because the Leo has this, this, this toxic, um, this, this codependency, Okay. Um, under the nine of swords, we have the page of cups reversed. So, you know, just kind of like a, a disappointment. Okay. Again, more disappointment. Um, this Leo is disappointed. We're going to clarify. And Pisces, I believe that you're disappointed as well because you want to watch, you know, something grow. However, there could have been, um, some words spoken between you two or, or some type of argument or some type of shake up here because we have the tower. I'm also going to clarify this tower. But let's clarify all these cards. 
now the six of pentacles so we have the six of pentacles reversed but so this is could be that you know somebody wants to give and take or both of you you know want to um put work into this situation and give and be generous and share Okay, Pisces. So yeah, I'm going with what I'm feeling what I was going with earlier that maybe you've been trying to manifest the situation for a little while. And you've kind of made up your mind in, in, in a way um, like, okay, I'm I you know, may, maybe not completely cutting it out, but you've decided to really focus on you because you feel, you know, that this situation, you know, you, you, you really have to, um, you know, you're really wanting here to plan and, and make decisions and move forward, you know, because you you want to come out of this unbalance, okay? You, you feel like this situation throws you into imbalance, okay? Um, there is a connection here. It's just, um, you know, you just feel like this person is not reciprocating, but there is a connection, but you're just deciding that, you know, Pisces, you, you have to... Um, go forward here all right and so with the devil we have um the knight of swords reverse for the leo so there you know no direction kind of like you know unpredictable um disregarding consequences here not really you know just toxic energies maybe not really uh recognizing this this partnership not recognizing this partnership yeah what i'm getting here with the a six of pentacles you know like uh hmm Maybe because they're not recognizing the, the the relationship, Pisces. You kind of felt that it throws you into imbalance because you you know you kind of want to show this person or, or show them who you are, or take control. But you you know you feel you feel almost like a pushy energy, like a, a domination, and and you just feel like it throws you off balance. I mean, you just feel like it's it's being forced, or um, you know because obviously this person is. Um, Interesting. So with the three of cups, with the disappointment, you know, they, they do want um, a victory here. OK, they, they want a victory here. They, they feel disappointed um, and, you know, they're isolating right now. They do. They do want a victory here um, with with the star reverse. Um, they have the full reverse as well. So could be a little bit of a recklessness, you know, or maybe not going towards this new beginning because. Um, you know, such lack of hope, you know, maybe just deciding to, um, I, I feel with this Leo, you know, because of lack of hope, because of the discouragement, I mean, they also want this. I feel like they want a, a victory here, but really the, this, these, these devil or, you know, thoughts right now in their mind, you know, this, this lack of direction, this lack of direction, you know, this devil energy right here is basically a lack of direction, um, you know, disregard for consequences of, you know, could be feeling they want a victory with you, but not really um, putting the time and energy into it, how they should. Okay, we have the king of pentacles uh, here reverse that popped out earlier. So sensuality, again, more overindulgence. I feel like this person just Let's see. Uh, well, we'll use this one. Yeah, I feel like they're a little greedy, Pisces. Uh, like they want their cake and they want to eat it too. Like they want a victory here, but they don't. There's hope. And, and I keep getting a little bit of a. I don't know. Let's see. Let's clarify one more time for this Leo. One more time for the Leo. Actually, let's clarify all of it one more time. Actually, first and foremost, let's clarify this tower. Let's clarify this tower. What is this tower? What is the tower for Leo and Pisces? What is this tower for Leo and Pisces, Spirit Angels and Guides? Clarify this tower for Leo and Pisces. Tower for Leo and Pisces. 
Tower for Leo and Pisces, Spirit Angels and Guides. Tower for Leo and Pisces. Bottom of the deck, decision. So Pisces, like you made a decision and it's thrown maybe this um, Leo. It will throw this Leo into a state of... Um, discouragement, lack of faith here, but we have balance. It's like you making a decision here, Pisces, or someone making a decision is going to bring balance into this situation because maybe it's going to make this Leo step up somehow. Under um, under the uh, Two of Swords here, we have the um, Knight of Pentacles. So efficient, responsibility, like hardworking, maybe actually putting some effort into this. On the bottom of that, we have uh, the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, you know, maybe someone decides to take a, a, a reckless, just go with it, you know. Um, could be a little foolish. Let's see. Let's clarify. Okay, that's the star reverse as well. So let's clarify here all the cards for Pisces and Leo. Pisces and Leo. Let's see what else we can get for Pisces and Leo. Spirit angels and guides, please clarify here for clear and concise messages for these cards that we have out here. Pisces and Leo, please help us get a very clear and concise message for Pisces and Leo. Spirit angels and guides, please. Okay, so I feel like this card wanted to come out on top of the devil and the knight of swords. So that was the moon reverse, okay? So confusion, um... You know, fear, misinterpretation, you know, like all these devil thoughts, like all these uh, thoughts going through their mind. Okay. Bottom of the deck, the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. So Pisces here, you know, with... Um, the magician, again, you were trying to manifest something with this person. You know, you made a decision to maybe, um, you know, retract your energies. Maybe you were doing too much or, you know, you just felt like, you know, you were out of not acting like yourself or something. So, or, you you know, you weren't, this person is not reciprocating. So you decide to retract your energy and really look within, okay? And, um, you know, Pisces, in, in planning, you know, and, and, and wanting to move away from the situation, you know, uh, that probably makes you imbalanced. Um, this time you could, you know, in the cancer season could have been feeling a little imbalanced, okay? And it, it had you in a, a state, you know, with the emperor reverse here, you could have had you a little rigid, um, you know? So a little um, cold, okay? A little cold, like over-controlling, you know, maybe, you know, the, the reason that you're taking a, a step back is, you know, you were planning all this situation with this Leo, but the way that you were maybe going about it, like the foundation that you guys were initially like starting off was not balanced. Okay, Pisces, maybe you were trying to control the situation too much or, you know, or really have it your way um, in a certain way. Mm. And so with this... Um, you know, you're just kind of walking away from this, you know, transitioning. You're kind of just moving away from this situation right now. Yeah. With this Leo, you know, with the uh, Nine of Cups reverse, yeah, not satisfied. There's definitely a lack of inner joy. Dissatisfied. Again, you know, with the dissatisfied Three of Cups, you know, they they want this victory. They want this Ten of Cups, okay? Don't let this Leo fool you. There, there's potential here. They want this Ten of Cups. And... You know, with the Ace of Swords here, I feel like towards the end of July, you know, they could be coming into some clarity. I feel like if you really retract your energy, like, they could be coming into some clarity here. Yeah. Some clarity. I want to clarify this, um, this Ace of Swords. This Ace of Swords here. What is this Ace of Swords? see my candle here for you guys actually let me not um burn this <laughs> right there okay so the fool you know this 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 person um 
you know, with the lack of hope here, you know, and, you know, they could feel a little bit taken advantage of um, and a little reckless, you know, because maybe you retracted your energy. However, they've had some clarity or, you know, they're about to come into some clarity. So this Ace of Swords, what is this Ace of Swords? Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords for Leo. What is this Ace of Swords for Leo? Ace of Swords for Leo. I'm going to take this as in the line energy. Justice on the bottom of the deck. Okay. Ace of Wands. Eight of Wands. And the High Priestess. So maybe this Leo is, uh, you know, towards the end of July, Pisces. And I'm going to be very interested to see what the August reading is. Um... You know, they're going to use their intuition, maybe come out of their head, out of these, you know, toxic energies in the cancer season, okay? And maybe we know when, you know, it shifts into Leo, um, you know, it could be a completely different story. We're, we're going to see here rapid movement and, and some passion coming here, okay? So so they're going to approach you in a passionate way because they've had some clarity here and that, that, that maybe they don't want to resist the situation anymore. And indeed, they do want to, you know, have this give and take. So I feel like you retracting your energy, Pisces, is what's going to cause a, a tower moment because, you know, you're really, um, you know, you're going to walk away. And I, and I feel like this this is not what this Leo wants. And, you know, they definitely want this new beginning. However, they're in their head. But, yeah, they're going to come forward to you. Like Eight of Wands and Ace of Wands, fast movement, you know, very passionate, fast movement. I'm sorry. So, you know, Sagittarius energy, fire sign, you know, could be. So a lot of fire energy here, a lot of fire energy. I, that's a perfect way to end this, this reading because I really feel like towards the end of July, that's really what, what's going to, some new passion is, is, is going to, um, you know, this, this little turmoil is not going to last for long, I feel. This, this is not finished here for sure, okay? So Pisces and Leo, let me know if that resonated. If it did, please like, and uh, please let me know how that does resonate in your life. I always love to read how it does. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.